Hey guys, happy Thursday, November 2nd. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and you can too. This is actually the first time I've picked up the camera today, and it's 5.08 p.m. I did not realize the day had passed so quickly. I had a phone consult with my doctor in D.C. at 12.45 today, and it went very well. We got a lot of information that I don't really want to say on the vlog right now because we're still waiting on some tests and supplements and all that, and I want to be able to get organized before I give you the update. But we learned some really good information that could lead us to some answers as far as why we're not able to stabilize sleep at all. I will say this though, one thing that we know is going on is malabsorption. And we've known that for a while. Like, I mean, a while, I mean, we've known that since the beginning of all of the Lyme stuff that started, you know, almost five years ago. Well, once we realized what it was. I mean, I had issues way before then, but that's when we first knew what it was. June 11th of 2012 plus one is when I got my official diagnosis. But like I said, at that point, it had been going on for a long time. We just didn't know what it was called. And the way my symptoms fit together right now, a lot of them leads to malabsorption being a major issue right now. Now, thankfully, it's just in my stomach and my intestines are absorbing everything. I've been able to gain experience points and level up with Claire Bennett, which my doctor loves hearing. It's still a slow process, but we are leveling up and making process. And we learned about several other things that could affect the headaches and the fact that they've gotten so much worse and that, that could be affecting the fatigue. And I want to wait till I have them more organized to give you an actual like informational video. But it was a good appointment, so I'm very excited for that. I just realized that any of the new medications she called in, it's too late to get them now because the pharmacy we now use closes at 5 and it's 5.10. I think where, where I was starting to go was we've changed at least one of my medications that can help with sleep and that helps with my um, histamine issues because I have so much histamine intolerance and one thing we work on big time is getting the histamine levels in my body down. So there's one medication that we use that helps that and also helps sleep and she was able to um, find a liquid suspension of it so that can actually be put through my tube and since it goes into my jejunum it won't have problems being absorbed, so maybe it will help my sleep more. Thankfully, at least one of the other medications that I take at night to help with sleep is able to be crushed and dissolved and put through my tube as well, so maybe we'll just start doing that every night. So that's one thing that could make a big difference. And once sleep is stabilized, y'all, you know that sleep is like, you know, we got nutrition. That was the most important thing. Then sleep is right there behind because if sleep is off, then everything is going to be off symptom-wise. So that's what we're focusing on right now. And I'm really excited that we're going to be able to start putting those through Claire Bennett and just straighten it into my jejunum and let them actually be absorbed instead of my stomach not bringing them down so they can be absorbed the way they're supposed to be, which is... A-OK -okay with me. I just want medications to work because I want to be able to start treatment. I don't like just medication, medication, medication. I still have a natural and herbal and supplement protocol that I'm following as well. We're mixing the two right now. We're integrating conventional medicine. And by conventional, I mean Lyme literate conventional. The Lyme doctors who are very literate in prescription meds and also on the natural herbal supplement side of things. So we're hitting it from both angles. Right now, I've had a reactivation of HSV, and I'm taking things right now that are geared to turn my immune system off because it has just started to reactivate and start acting as if that's a new infection when it's not. We're trying to knock it back down. I think some of the headaches that I've had are due to some different side effects from the protocol. It's not a herxine per se, but it is dealing with the um, upregulation of my immune system, and that's happening in like three different ways right now to a point where it's not necessarily good. So we're managing that as well. Roger is taking his students to all district band auditions tonight, which is about an hour away. So by the time he gets home for the night after they've all auditioned, because he has 20 students auditioning this year, and that is amazing. The band has grown so much ever since it switched from 7th and 8th grade to the middle school to having 6th, 7th, and 8th grade to the middle school. And it's not just because there's an extra grade, but getting that extra grade gets kids more interested in the band before they have a chance to think, oh, well, that's too dorky. Because guess what? Band is not dorky. Band can teach you lifelong skills, and anyone that says marching band is not a sport, you can go. Because marching band is a sport, you have to be super coordinated, and you have to memorize music and play it from memory while you're being super coordinated, marching around and marching backwards. There was once a, uh, I guess I'll tell you this story quickly. 
my senior year of high school before I went on homebound with, at the time, my juvenile idiopathic, we don't know why you have it, but you have it, arthritis. We now know that it has always been due to Lyme, but at the time it was just JIA, JRA actually. It was before they changed it to JIA, and I was on homebound for a few months of my senior year. But before that, one of the songs that we played in the band required the alto saxophone section, which is what I played in marching band, even though I'm an oboe gal in, you know, uh, concert band and other things. But I enjoyed playing sax in marching band. And we played a song where the sax section had, we had a set where we had to take, I believe it was 16 steps backwards, but they were like leaping steps. Like we almost had to leap backwards. The steps were so big. So um, it is a sport as far as I'm concerned. It's it's just as much an activity and as, as much anything. And, and hey, band kids are dedicated because to give up two to three weeks of your summer, depending on what part of band camp you need to go to. If you're a percussionist, you have three weeks because you have percussion camp before band camp starts. And then the regular band camp is for two weeks now. Now, when I was there, it was three weeks because we had freshman week where the seniors would mentor the freshmen or upperclassmen would mentor the freshmen and before the full band started the second week, but it's changed a lot now since they're non-competitive anymore. But the fact that we used to be competitive, that in and of itself, and the fact that there are marching band competitions shows that it's a sport in my mind. I'm going to stop blabbering about that right now and just remind you guys, like I started off the video saying this is the day the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and I'm going to go try to exchange my cold packs because this one is not so much cold anymore and my other ones are all the same. Hope you all are having a good November so far. Hey, I already picked up my five items for No Clutter November, so I've done 10 so far. I've got two days down of No Clutter November. Check that off. That was my left hand. It felt very weird, so check mark. Although that felt weird too because Roger says I make check marks backward because everybody doesn't like that. And I usually do the long line first and then the little line. And I know that's backwards from what most people do, but for some reason that's just how I've always done it, even as a kid. So you want to see Lucy real quick? She's she's sleeping. She's pretty cute though. Hey Lucy Goosey. Hey baby, you okay? I didn't mean to wake you up like that. I thought you were already halfway awake. I'm sorry. Oh, you got bug bites all over. That feel good? Oh, that feels good. That spot feels good, mom. That's a good scratchy spot, mom. Oh, look at her. She can't hardly ha handle it. She got bug bites. She is covered in bug bites. She's trying to not like this. See that? She's trying to growl and tell me that she doesn't like it, but then she'll stop and her head will make... Where is your spot that's itchy? I just want to help you with the itchiness. There you go. There it is. Itchy spot. Poor girl is allergic to mosquito bites. You see your face, Luce? The people love you. You're pretty. Okay. I love you too. Okay, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, Lucy. Go get your green bone. Come on, go get your green bone. Go get it. It's not in here. Don't look in here. It's definitely not up there with all the clutter on the dresser. Go, go on. Get your green bone. No, I, that's the window. I did not say window. Lucy, are you intrigued by what's outside? Lucy, go get your green bone. This is a charcoal filter that we have ghetto taped on to my air vent because of smells, with the heat and everything. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? Hey, Lucy, the pup with the cute face. Get up, baby. Oh, good girl. I don't know where your green bone is. You're the one that's gonna have to find it. Pretty sure it's in the living room. You get it? Oh, she got it, Mom. Okay, bring it here. Come on, come on bring it to Mommy. Come here. Come here. Oh, green bone, tug of war. Green bone. Ready? I'm gonna throw it. You ready? Just a minute. That wasn't very far, but it's okay. You got a green bone. Uh-oh. What is it, Luz? What is it? What's out there? You're a cutie. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Look at that tail. Come here. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. Shh. 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 Be quiet. You wait a minute. You ready? I love this face. You ready? There it goes. Mmm, good job. Good job, girl. Good job. Not down at you, Miss Thing. She sounds downright violent. Sit. Ah. Hey, hey, no. <laughs> 
you have the attention span. Well, I'd say of a dog, but you are a dog. You have the shortest attention span in the world. Follow the green bone with your eyes. Follow it with your eyes. Follow it with your eyes. Follow it up. Follow it down. Ah, green bone. You ready? You ready? Go get it. Good girl. Good girl. We're going to go play with this out in the hallway. We're going to go play on the hallway where there's more room for you to run, okay? Just a minute. First, I just realized that I am out of rocket fuel, so it's time to unhook. So I'm going to play with the bone with her for a little while, and then just started beeping to let me know. I noticed it and it just started beeping, so then I'm going to set up my bags and everything, but I'm going to play with the dog a little bit first because she needs some activity. Okay, baby, you ready? Uh -huh. Hey, hey, sit. Uh -huh. Yeah, you choke when you do that. Good girl, you ready? Go get it. Whoops. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to go under there. Just a minute. Mommy, get it. And mommy to the rescue because it had gone underneath the hope chest. Poor girl was trying to dig at it. Okay. Sit. Stay. You ready? Go get it. Oh, she's a wild girl. Oh, she's a wild girl. Okay, you finished playing? Okay, bye! Since I was already in this general area, I went ahead and grabbed my rocket fuel refills. I'm gonna exchange my cold packs and I'm gonna get a real B-O-N-E word for Lucy that I can't say the word out loud. And I gotta grab it with a paper towel because I'm not too keen on touching rawhide. Just saying. I really need a cold pack on my head. Actually, just gonna go ahead and put it on right now. Sorry, my hair's a mess. Actually, sorry, not sorry. Why would I be sorry about that? You don't really care if my hair's a mess, do you? There we go. Here's my Rambo. That's what we call the ones that are headbands. Go back. Hey, Luce. Do you want a bone? Do you want a bone? You want a bone? Do you want a bone? Okay, sit. Stay. Stay right there. Just a minute. Ma -ah -ah. Stay. Stay. Mommy's got to get it with this. Just a minute. You stay right there. Look, she's being a very good girl and staying. Well, I get... No. Ah, uh, I just told people, you know, be it back. Stay. Sit, stay. She's licking her chops because she knows what I'm getting. I think that your papa is out there, so I may wait until he comes in to give this to you. I gotta check. Just a minute. False alarm. It was not dad. So, okay, Miss Pris, I'm sorry. You're. She's watching, so wait until patiently. I gotta give it to her now. Okay, baby. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here. All right, not on the bed. No, get down. Get down. Down, 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 down. Sit. You ready? Oh, just a minute. Here you go. Good girl. Good girl with your bone. Oh, and she's gone. Now, it's time to refill Claire Bennett. We are still mixing one of the 1.0s with the 1.5s, and we're, what we've been doing is using two 1.0s and a 1.5 to get my body more accustomed to the more dense rocket fuel. However, eventually, we're going to be using two of the 1.5 Kate Farms peptide and then one of the 1.0s to meet my caloric needs. We just haven't gotten there yet, but we've only got like one more box of 1.0s. So actually, since we got the full month of November in the 1.5s, we're going to probably try to transition to two of these and then one of these and then eventually all of these because these were just delivered for the month of November. Yesterday we got four boxes in, today we got the other four. So Kate Farms, rock on. I'll just tell you guys, some things on here, I'll read to you from the bottle just because I've never actually done that. Is peptide formula free of common allergens. No milk, wheat, soybeans, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, fish, shellfish, corn free. It's also gluten free even though it didn't list it on there. Omega 3 and 6, MCT oil, 24 grams of plant-based protein per bottle, 6 grams of prebiotic fiber, and 29 superfoods that they've blended up to make this. It is macronutrient distributed, 31% carbohydrates, 19% protein, 47% fat. So I'm getting a lot of that fat for my brain cells that it needs to work and just my body to work. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Let's see if I can get focus there. Not in the whole bottle, I can't. I don't think I won't be able to read it, but Core Essentials Peptide Plain. There's what I just read to you. You can't read it probably on the camera because it's not going to focus. Look at all those vitamins and minerals it has in one thing from the 29 superfoods that they use. And then, of course, info about the company and nutritional info of the ingredients, all that. I'm going to fill it up right now after I disassemble.
the backpack. Then I will refill with new bags and we'll be good to go. Okay, it is 8.04 p.m. and my headache continues to just get worse and I've got a low-grade fever so I'm gonna turn the lamp off and I'm gonna lay down and wait for Roger to get home. Good news is I already got this sidekick set up and we're all running there. All in there. Going right to Claire Bennett. By the way, I highly recommend button down pajama shirts if you have an abdominal tube of any kind. That sidekick's here with me. And I've got my other sidekick here who's a little cuter. And I thought this talking was going to wake her up, but she's not. She's sleeping right beside me here. So I'm going to sign off for the night. Just waiting for Roger to get home. Nothing's really going on. And I need to turn the light off because my head is just just busting right now. But it's okay because it's still the day the Lord has made. I'm still glad in it. Hey, oh wait, I forgot to tell you guys the exciting announcement. The 24 hours from yesterday at around 5 o'clock until today at 5 o'clock was the first time I've been able to make it through three full bottles without unhooking of my Kate Farms rocket fuel. So that was awesome. Before I had to change it, like, I didn't have to change it today until the third one had emptied, which is the goal. So rock the heck on. And Kate Farms, you all are awesome. And you all, everybody out there watching, is awesome. So take time to choose joy whenever you're able. Remember to laugh when you can, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm.